Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about tetany. Tetany is a manifestation of hypocalcemia characterized by neuromuscular irritability. Due to hypocalcemia, there will be decreased ionic calcium in the extracellular fluid that will lead to opening of the sodium channel and that will lead to excitation of the neurons and muscles causing neuromuscular irritability. Symptoms of tetany include circumoral numbness, numbness around the mouth cavity, paresthesia, tingling of the distal extremities, carpopedal spasm, spasm of the hand and the feet, hand and the foot, laryngeal spasm, Spasm of the muscles of the larynx, generalized convulsion. So these are the symptoms of tetany. Okay, signs of tetany. We have two signs: Bostek sign, Trousseau sign. Bostek sign is elicited by tapping along the course of the facial nerve, which induces contraction of the muscles of facial expression. Facial nerve is the seventh cranial nerve. Facial nerve come out of the cranial cavity through the stylomastoid foramen. It enters the carotid gland and it gives five branches. So if we take just below the zygomatic bone in front of the tragus, then we can see the Bostek sign. If it is a latent Titani. So, if you just just tap here, then there will be contraction around the muscle sufficient expression like orbicularis oculi, orbicularis oris. There will be contraction of the zygomaticus major, zygomaticus minor, okay, frontalis muscle, like mentalis muscle. All muscle will be contracted if the titani is subclinical level or it is latent condition we can easily find out the bostex sign okay then we'll get the trousers sign referred to carpal spasm produced by occlusion of the circulation to the forearm and hand by blood pressure measuring cuff for several minutes this is a blood pressure measuring cuff and if we if you come if you just pump this thing by hand pump and there will be compression of the brachial artery and there will be spasm will happen in the in the forearm okay carpal spasm will state will start here if we by hand pump if we raise the pressure in the blood pressure measuring cuff so this is another sign of Titany, especially hidden or subclinical or latent titany, we can find out the trousers sign is a sign of titany. Okay, what are the causes of titany? There are many causes. One is hypoparathyroidism, hypocalcemia due to any region, vitamin D deficiency idiosyncratic adverse effect of certain drug like succinylcholine, hallucinated anesthetic due to mutation of RYR1 gene ion channel myopathy. Okay, channel RYR1 gene ion channel myopathy. Hypokalemia, lack of potassium in the body lack of magnesium in the body, maladjection syndrome, dejour syndrome, there will be absence or small thymus gland, thymus gland may be absent, may be very small, along with non-development of the parathyroid gland in dejour syndrome, associated with self-mediated mediated immunity defect, because lack of thymus or due to very small thymus. Metabolic alkalosis, not only metabolic alkalosis, also respiratory alkalosis due to hyperventilation can cause 
titani. Titani may be caused due to alkalosis, maybe metabolic alkalosis, maybe respiratory alkalosis like hyperventilation causing respiratory alkalosis. Late stage of cricket in children. It does not happen with in the adult with osteomalacia, okay, but late stage children with cricket. Liver dysfunction in premature baby, baby born before third month of gestation. Liver is very much dysfunctional, okay, that may lead to, lead to tetany, okay. So, there will be lack of this liver dysfunction, there will be lack of serum ionic due to lack of extracellular fluid ionic calcium. Same thing happened, adverse effect of citrate. Okay, so liver dysfunction in premature baby, it may be due to adverse effect of citrate anticoagulant in a patient with a damaged liver, like a person has cirrhosis of liver, person has liver cancer okay so the citrate anticoagulant if it is used then there is a chance of tetany we have some note hypocalcemia causes decreased extracellular fluid calcium ion concentration it is due to that we have tetany Calcium ion level in the extracellular fluid need to fall below, below, okay, fall, fall less than, it should fall, okay, it should fall less than 50%, okay, take it out, less than 50% of normal to manifest the titani, okay. With a low calcium ion level, the sodium channel is open by a small increase in membrane potential. The nerve fiber and skeletal muscle becomes highly excitable. Titany may cause convulsive death. Okay, that is possible. Laryngeal muscles are highly sensitive to titanic spasm. Spasm of the laryngeal muscle may cause respiratory obstruction and death. Intravenous calcium is the treatment of choice for titanic spasms. It should be given intravenous calcium. And that's all about the titany. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. Please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice and wonderful day. Bye now.